Ubuntu is better than your previous OS. And like, that's it. That's all it has to say with the picture of the freaking cat. So I've made a discovery. Well, I shouldn't say me. I should say some people over on Twitter, because of course, that have been messaging me about this. And there was a tweet that went viral about it. This, my friends, is Ubuntu, the best Weeboo OS that is, uh, it, well, we're just going to have to explore it in this video. I mean, come on. We've done all this OS Ton stuff that you guys really seem to enjoy. So why not take a look at a fan-made Linux distro that's all themed around anime-related stuff? At least it seems that way, because when you flat out call yourself the best Weeaboo OS, well, you're going to definitely attract a certain type of crowd. 2,000 people have downloaded this already. Yeah, so that's that's cool uh so you can customize your desktop they include some backgrounds i mean hey who doesn't love backgrounds and this is really neat your favorite apps pre-installed they've added a decent amount of stuff to this you got calibri tor vlc qubit torrent opera even discord built right in so hey i'm not complaining that's pretty nice you scroll down even more and they tell you with steam and wine you can play all of your favorite games star not every game is fully compatible visit proton dv for more information so uh yeah they advertise you know you using wine, which we've talked about that before on this channel. And it outright says down here, this will make your computer better. God, I hope it does. And this is pretty cool, I think. This was created by two students for a school project. And on the original Reddit post about this, they said that they kind of wanted to create an operating system that was, yes, anime slash weeaboo theme, but also something that they would want to use. And that they, in fact, planned on using it after they finished, you know, developing it. So this is what the website I mean, we've already been looking at the website, but this is what it looks like. I'll have it linked down below. They've got a downloads tab up here. The main version is called, or I guess the only version as of now, is called Uwu. <laughs> is called Uwu. Why can't I say this? What the Ubuntu 25. The main version as of now is called Ubuntu Ubuntu, Ubuntu Gnome. They also have this Ubuntu, I said it again, Ubuntu Creation. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I'm definitely laughing more than I normally do, uh, but I, I just find this really funny in, in the best way possible. Uh, so this is your, your guide here to actually create your own version of this, pretty much. They've got a bugs listing here. It looks like there is currently one bug, Tor not installed automatically. It's said in the website that Tor is installed automatically, like Calibri, VLC, Qubit Torrent, Qubit Torrent, Opera, and Discord, but Tor is the only one which is not installed natively. It was reported over a year ago, so I, I hope they've fixed that by now. Let's go ahead and install this thing. I really don't know what to expect. I mean, I kind of have a bit of an idea of what to expect. I'm going into this blind, guys, 100%, as I like to do with stuff like this on this channel. So you've got... <laughs> A little loading animation there. Ubuntu, the best Weeaboo OS. It says that that's the logo down there at the bottom. Oh my gosh, there it is. So the name is uh, Moshi Mango. So you've got try and install just like in Ubuntu. So we're just going to install it. We're definitely going to go with normal install. We want to download updates. And uh, yeah, we'll install third-party software as well. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. Okay, install... <laughs> Oh my gosh. I just can't get over the name, man. Like, S-tier pun. Seriously. Like, come on. I mean, it's so good. Ubuntu... <laughs> Ubuntu is better than your previous OS. And like, that's it. That's all it has to say with the picture of the freaking cat. Oh man, that is wonderful. Okay. We recommend you this new movies. Uh, I don't know what this one is. I know what One Piece is. Uh, so this is apparently a One Piece movie. That's interesting. Take your music with you. It comes with the amazing Rhythmbox music player. With advanced playback options, it's simple to queue up the perfect songs, and it works great with CDs and portable music players, so you can enjoy all your music wherever you are. List some included software there. Have fun with your photos. I, I love the, the uh, cat, or there's just a cat in pretty much all of these, well, except for this one here. It's just recommending you movies, like, as you're installing the OS. I mean, that's that's a pretty good use of this space here. Here it talks about the photo manager, and you got GIMP and uh, Shotcut video editor on here, too, which is nice. You waiting for Ubuntu to install? They got the panda, okay. Just these, like, one-liner things are so good. Um, everything you need for the office. You got... <laughs> 
okay. LibreOffice is a free office suite packed with everything you need to create documents, okay? So it talks about uh, LibreOffice and uh, a scene from, I assume, some anime. <laughs> they got the average fan average enjoyer me. <laughs> Oh my god. At the heart of the Ubuntu philosophy is the belief that computing is for everyone with advanced accessibility tools and options to change the language, color scheme, and text size. Ubuntu makes computing easy, whoever and wherever you are. So, and then they just have this image here, which is great. Help and support. The official documentation covers many of the most common areas about Ubuntu. It's available both online and via the help icon in the dock. At Ask Ubuntu, you can ask questions and search. I swear, every time I'm going to say the name, it's like, I just want to laugh a little bit. Okay, installation is complete. Let's go ahead and restart. Oh my gosh, it looks like the loading animation is a spinning cat icon. Now, one thing I'll say right off the bat, I really like this operating system's layout. And that's just coming from a Windows user. I'm certainly used to having the taskbar here on the bottom, and in this case, the apps menu over here at the bottom left. Ubuntu's default layout definitely takes a bit of adjustment when I switch to it. I mean, I can get around in it just fine. I definitely like this. I'm just going to say right off the bat. It looks like in the apps menu here, so I'm definitely going to look for Tor because I'm curious if that indeed is a bug that hasn't been fixed yet. And it looks like Tor is not, we'll do a search for it. It doesn't look like Tor is on here. So that is interesting, but it does have Qubit Torrent. You saw that it has Discord. I think I saw Opera, yep. And VLCs down here. And yeah, oh, you got uh, Calibri as well, which is probably gonna be um, right, yep, right here. But honestly, right off the bat, I'm not really seeing a whole lot of like anime specific stuff. This just kind of feels like a different Linux distro that I'm using, you know, obviously based off of Ubuntu, but a different Linux distro nonetheless. In its defense, it never claimed to have a lot of like anime focused stuff. I do want to take a look at the wallpapers though. So let's go to settings here and just do a search for background here. And yeah, so here they are. It looks like you've got some Japanese landscapes here. Some photos of Japan. Looks like uh, Mount Fuji. And you've got some other buildings and stuff here. Pretty nice. Yeah, these are some really cool photos. I don't know. Uh, there's not like a... Is there a name or anything Im embedded in these? I don't think so. It doesn't say on the website who is the photographer or like where they got the photos. Maybe it, it, it says that uh, somewhere else, but it's not on the main page at least. But um, yeah, definitely some pretty cool photos for sure. And it looks like you've got three different versions. Whoops, that's really screwing up there. You got three different versions of the logo background. So this is the one with the cat. You've got the one with the tagline there, the best Wii of OS, and you've got just the uh, Ubuntu logo. But yeah, I mean, like I said, there's not really any anime specific stuff, but Uwu doesn't necessarily have to be anime related. I mean, I think it's often kind of grouped in with it, but it is kind of its own thing. Uh, I feel like I'm explaining what Uwu is. I don't even really know exactly uh, the, the like origins of it and everything. Yeah, I guess that's really all there is to say. Guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, I know it was uh, kind of bizarre maybe, but I mean, we've taken a look at all the OS Ton stuff on this channel, so I figured this uh, wouldn't be too out of left field. But if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.